Introduction to Engineering Hydrology and its Applications At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define Hydrology Describe Origin and Development of Hydrology According to History Define Engineering Hydrology Explain Types of Hydrology List out Different Applications of Hydrology Water is a decisive source for life on Earth. At the time of birth, our body consists of 75% of water. The adult physic is covered by 60% of water. Survival without water for a couple of days is an unimaginable one. There is no life in the ecosystem without it. The million dollar question is, where does water appear from? Different people have different opinions. Some say, it downpours from the sky. Some others say it flows out from oceans. Another group of people say it is from underground. But some even say funny answer like when we open the tap, it pours. That's it. The answer for this is still a debate. Nobody is aware of how it's actually formed. At present, two-thirds of the Earth's area is covered by water. but. It's neither created nor destroyed. It circulates around the earth in several forms, that is, oceans, rivers, ponds in the form of liquid, glaciers, ice cubes in solid form and in the water vapour in gaseous form. The science behind the origin, circulation and the distribution of water on the surface of the earth and the atmosphere is termed as hydrology. Hydrology is derived from the terms hydro water and logy science. Simply water science. Let us study about history, types, and application of hydrology. Development of human civilization from the ancient period was based on the availability of water resources. Different civilizations succeeded when the availability of water was high and it crumpled when water got depleted. Based on the archaeological evidence at Mohenjadaro, it has been found that around 3000 BC, people of Indus Valley had good knowledge of groundwater development through wells. During this period, the oldest dam was constructed across the river Nile. Some of the source says that even gauges were used to measure the flow of water in the Nile River. Around 300 BC, Aristotle stated that all water for rivers come from the precipitation and gets collected below the surface of the earth and emerges when that water quantity increases. Later, during the civilization development, people learned many principles of hydrology and started to construct many dams, reservoirs, for storing rainwater. In the late 14th century, Leonardo da Vinci was the first person to state about the principles behind the flow in open channels. Bernard Palissy stated that rainfall was the only source of water for rivers and springs during the 15th century. During this period, Bernard Palissy and Leonardo da Vinci provided the concept of water cycle which was recently referred to as a hydrological cycle. In the 17th century, Pierre Perelt, Marriott and Halley were the pioneers of modern hydrology. Pierre Perelt was first one to propose the concept of rainfall measurement by water balance equation and catchment area method. Halley was the first person to measure the evaporation in the Mediterranean Sea. However, the instrument used by him is still a mystery. Many important instruments and the theory of hydrology such as piezometer, Chessy's formula, rain gauges, etc. were modernized during the 16th century. At the end of 19th century, rapid advancement was made in the instruments for acquiring rainfall, groundwater, runoff data, etc and digital facilities for data analysis has supported to the field of hydrology in steady growth rate. From the history, 
it is evident that hydrology has its importance in various fields based on which it is classified into different divisions. Let us learn about it in detail. As of now, based on the degree of adaptability, the field of hydrology is classified as scientific hydrology and applied or engineering hydrology. Scientific hydrology deals with the study of origin, circulation and distribution from the academic point of view. Applied or engineering hydrology deals with a study related to engineering applications such as water resource estimation, the amount of precipitation, runoff, etc. and the study of problem related to water. Based on the distribution and circulation of water, hydrology is classified as surface water hydrology and groundwater hydrology. Surface water hydrology deals with the occurrence and distribution of water above the earth's surface. Example, lakes, streams, ponds, etc. Groundwater hydrology deals with occurrence and distribution of water beneath the surface of the earth. For example, aquifers, etc. Hydrology is an essential tool for planning and building hydraulic structures. It is used in design, construction and operation of various water resource projects such as irrigation for the agricultural fields, water supply for towns and cities, hydroelectric power generation, navigation structures such as canals, chambers, etc. The equations, mathematical principles and techniques in hydrology are used for calculating the amount of rainfall for the particular area. To find capacity of structures such as dams, reservoirs, etc. To understand the safe disposal of excess water in structures. To calculate the minimum and maximum availability of water in the particular area at different climatic conditions. To determine the expected flood flow over the spillway of the structures. To determine water balance for the particular area. To predict flood, geomorphic changes, anthropogenic environmental change, etc. and much more. Field of hydrology is like an ocean. Its application cannot be explained in a single stretch. We will be studying them in detail in our forthcoming modules. Summary Let us summarize what we have learnt. Hydrology is defined as the science behind the origin, circulation and distribution of water on the surface of the earth and atmosphere. From the history, it is clear that development of human civilizations is based on availability of water. If availability of water was high, civilization succeeded and it crumpled when water got depleted. The field of hydrology is classified as scientific hydrology and applied hydrology. Based on the distribution and circulation of water, hydrology is classified as surface water hydrology and groundwater hydrology. Hydrology is essential for design, construction and operation of various water resource projects, estimation of rainfall, runoff, etc.